Good morning and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well. In today's video, it's gonna be a short one. The weather's terrible, it's cold, there's nobody here, but that's good for what I'm doing. I'm looking for a super rare bird that's been around for a few days. I did find it yesterday. A couple days ago, someone posted a photo of a bird on a Facebook group and all day yesterday, there was people driving from the city. People from over an hour away were driving here so that they could try to look for this bird. So pretty crazy example of how social media is affecting birding right now. Pretty cool. I'm lucky enough to have seen it last night, but I didn't get like a fully unobstructed shot or anything. So I'm back this morning to try to get that. Let's go. I just want to test my exposure to see it. I mean, the light is so, ducks, the light is so bad. So I might even shoot at ISO 25,000, which is as high as my camera can go. I've never done that before ever. Let me see. Okay, no. I don't need to do ISO 25,000, that's for sure. I can get away with 12.8, I think. Oh yeah. So that's just a test shot. See how noisy it is? This is when I do some noise removal in post-processing. Much better. Yo. I think I hear him. You probably can't hear that. It's like the one of the quietest calls I've ever... Okay, they're not that. Um, but there's a really, really quiet call. Sounds pretty deep. And I only know because I spent like four hours studying this bird yesterday, right? So I definitely hear him. Sounds like a, like, sort of like that. gonna take a quick walk around the pond here it's not that big I do hear a Sora over here um, one of my previous videos I photographed a Sora so I know that call really well the, I can't do it but sort of whiny starts low and goes higher I'm on the other side of the pond now, and I still hear him. I think he's directly across the water, but in the, the part of the reeds that are the absolute thickest. I don't think he's on an island. Um, I think he's, there's one part that sort of comes off from the main bank and sticks way into the pond. And I think, not by coincidence, the bird's chosen the thickest part of the cactails to live for the short time he's probably gonna be with us. I need to bring my boots so I can walk to the edge. Well, I'm gonna go back to the other side because I do think he's still over on that side technically, but this is the game. They're very, very shy and timid. And they don't move a lot. So a lot of patience, a little bit of luck. I saw a peewee in here yet. Oh, I just heard him. A wood peewee. See in here? That. Not that. All right. I hear him, but he's way back in there. 
lights even worse right now than it was yesterday and yesterday it wasn't good so I'm not gonna be able to get a shot of them oh that's a kingbird I wanted to get him because my mom asked me last night what they look like Well, that's a bad photo of a kingbird. There he is. I'm gonna put my monopod down. Oh. That's a better photo. This is a good photo of a kingbird. You can see this one, uh, it's on my first Cuba video, which I just released not too long ago. Oh, I see him. Oh my God, there he is. Hey buddy. Oh my God, my ISO, so it's too high. It would have been a fatal error. Uh -huh. Rookie mistakes. Tired mistakes. There he is. I can't believe it. The grass is blowing in the wind. I can't get a clear shot of his eye. Oh my god. There he goes. Oh, he's even closer to the path. closer than I was two seconds ago.
flying away. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe I got him again, and I can't believe how good some of the shots are. Like, last night, this is a shot from last night. This is what they all were sort of typical of. He was behind the grass, and at least I could see his eye, but he was completely obstructed. This one's my favorite one from last night, just because it's sort of unique. It looks kind of funny with his, both his eyes looking at me. But, this morning, those shots are sweet. And I really thought that my ISO was going to be like 12,000 or 25,000, but I got away with 6,400. Shutter speed was like 600 or something, but because I had the uh, trusty monopod, that always helps with sort of going with a slower shutter speed. Oh, I'm stoked. Let's go. I'm going to end the video with just a few video clips from the bittern that I just took, or maybe some from last night. But if you enjoyed the video, like it down below. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more birding videos. I'm definitely going to come back here because it's my local spot here in Kentville. But until next time, stay safe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.